Tanner, Tanner Stewart joins us now. Now, Tanner, the sheriff says this is rare and should not deter visitors from going to Pensacola Beach. Well, that's right, Sue, and the sheriff was, was very clear about that. We sat down with him this afternoon and asked him if he felt this could affect tourism at the beach. He had a quick answer. It was uh, triggered by one group of individuals uh, having a disagreement with another group of individuals. It seemed to uh, have erupted spontaneously, and I, there's not, not much more to it than that. Witnesses say shortly after two groups of black males began arguing near the Gulfside Pavilion, shots rang out, and at least two people suffered gunshot wounds to the hip and foot. No suspects have been named, as Sheriff Chip Simmons says it's still unclear who fired the shot. There's some inconsistencies with uh, victim statements and the witness statements, so we're still, still trying to figure out um, you know, how much video there's available to us. What we're getting now, again, from the witness accounts is that uh, there were groups of between four and eight people on, on either side, um, and these two groups, again, were engaged in some sort of, a, of an altercation. It's the third shooting WEAR has reported at the beach in nearly three years. The most recent before last night came in late May when the sheriff's office decided not to charge a Circle K employee after firing shots while dealing with unruly customers. We asked Sheriff Simmons if he thinks the recent shootings could deter visitors from going to the beach. His answer was simple. No. I really don't know why anyone would be reserved about going to the, to the beach. I think the beach is very safe. Uh, again, I think if you look at the circumstances surrounding uh, this particular event, you will realize that this is um, you know, a group of people that, that couldn't control themselves. Uh, we're investigating it, and once we figure out um, you know, who fired that weapon in anger, they'll be charged. Online comments pouring in about safety at the beach. One user tagged a relative, commenting, exactly why I didn't want you down there. Listen to your mom. Another writes, that's why I choose to stay home. I spoke over the phone Wednesday afternoon with Pensacola Beach Chamber of Commerce President Meg Peltier, who tells me the fact the shooting was isolated should serve as a message of how uncommon shootings are on Pensacola Beach. When you think of the history of Pensacola Beach, as, as many air shows we've had and fireworks shows and all the things that we do year round, and as far as I've been here over 20 years, I have rarely heard of any kind of incident like this at the beach. So I really think it's the exception to the rule and certainly not something that would ever impact our, our tourism at this point. Uh, this is still an active investigation. Those involved haven't been identified. Again, we also don't know exactly what the groups were fighting about that led to the shooting. In the studio, I'm Tanner Stewart.